Hello everyone. My name is Karthik and I'm a technical marketing engineer for the Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN product. In the introduction video, we talked about the enhanced application aware routing improvements. By using inline data, we are able to improve our accuracy of these measurements like loss, latency and jitter and we are able to provide faster convergence in terms of switching the traffic to a better path in the order of seconds and we are able to provide dampening. In this video, we will go about the feature deep dive about the enhanced application aware routing EAR. Let's understand inline data. Inline data is nothing but the actual data packet which is the user traffic or the application traffic and it is also part of the SD-WAN header. Enhanced application aware routing has three things. Accurate metric measurements using inline data, quick SLA enforcement, being able to switch over the traffic to a better path with as low as 10 seconds. And then the final one is SLA dampening, being able to monitor the stability of the van circuit flaps and dampen the tunnel before adding it back into the forwarding. When it comes to inline measurements for loss, we leverage per queue adaptive cost metrics that provides us per queue path loss and we will be able to differentiate local loss versus loss on the WAN circuit. Then for latency or jitter measurement, we use the standard pace algorithm. So we have a patented method to insert metadata and also latency is measured round trip time whereas jitter is measured as unidirectional. Let's look at the last capability SLA dampening. With the default 10 second pole interval, we could take the tunnel out of forwarding quickly. And similarly, if the tunnel starts to meet SLA, it could be added back into SLA forwarding quickly. If let's say you have a van circuit that's flapping, this back and forth switching of tunnels into forwarding can cause poor quality of experience for your applications. In order to address this, we are dampening the tunnel. So we monitor the stability of your van circuit. So that way we're not adding it back into SLA forwarding quickly. To understand this better, let's say the tunnel was out of SLA and at T1, the tunnel starts to meet the SLA. Now the dampening timer gets started. But at time T2, there was a flap on the one circuit. Now the dampening timer gets cancelled. At a later point at time T3, the tunnel starts to meet the SLA. Now we start the dampening timer. Now if you are using aggressive mode, we monitor the van circuit stability for 20 minutes. If there are no van circuit flaps, at time T4, we will see that there are no flaps and then the tunnel starts to meet the SLA and put back into SLA forwarding. Configuration modes. SD-WAN manager provides three default options for the customers to configure. Aggressive, which gives them a convergence anywhere between 10 seconds and one minute. Moderate, gives them a convergence anywhere between 60 seconds and five minutes. And conservative, which gives them a convergence between five minutes and 30 minutes. In order for customers to meet their application requirements, they could choose one of these three default options. If for any reason the SLA dampening window is too big for the customers or they want to change it to a different value, they could change using the CLI add-on template or CLI parcels inside SD-WAN manager. The recommendation is to not change the pole interval to be less than the default 10 second pole interval. Let's look at the migration scenarios. By default, the feature is disabled. Enhanced application aware routing is a dual ended feature. Both the local van edge and the remote SD-WAN edge need to have this feature turned off. The SD-WAN edges negotiate this capability. And if let's say you have an SD-WAN edge at a remote side, which is not enabled for enhanced application aware routing feature, in that case, the SD-WAN edge would fall back to using BFD based measurements in order to support existing deployments. For configuration and demo, look out for part 3 of the video. Thanks for watching.